So, uh, riveting. And we welcome everyone to my brand new Pathfinder campaign. Badoof. So exciting. Yay! It is Badoof. It is Badoof. Behold his glory. Anyone can feel free to edit this like we did with The Race is On. I just wanted a stupid meme to start the campaign every every week. Anyway, we will zoom in on a kind of worn down but still structurally sound school in the middle of the gnomish city of I forgot its name already. God damn it. That's its name now. I was going to say, that's a very strange name. I don't Swedish. remember it being this. Hmm. As we see a, a cafeteria packed to the brim with students, there's a few pulled up chairs. It's not like, it, it, it doesn't seem like the seating is ideal, but yeah, they've made it work with the principal, a fair half elven young, a fair middle aged half elven man, giving a rousing speech. Welcome to the last day of school. We are, you are being set free from the shackles of your education, regretfully. Uh, so today will be full of merriment. Uh, we have a Four beautiful professors and our nurse, uh, ready to give a few. What did they call them? There was a there was a fucking term they used for end of school shit. Mm -hmm. Already fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> activities for today. We have we have Fritz Johnson. Johansson. Johansson with his. Marvelous, he says with a grimace game of Fritz Ball. Fritz Blitz. Uh, the children actually do cheer at this. Even though the principal scowls. I, I am right there with the children egging them on. Uh, Mubai Stro has a wonderful last minute lecture on trigonometry he says also confused at why we're having a trigonometry lecture for elementary school students what's the demeanor of trig person i forgot their name uh mubai mm -hmm. is very your standard stuffy looking sci uh sciencey dude he's just in a basic blue suit where am I uh, standing in relation to this man? You're right next to him. I'm going to take the ball that I currently have, have for, for Fritz Blitz and just fake throw it at his face. And just... Mm. <laughs> and when he presu uh. presumably uh, doesn't react very well. Equianimous Halfway, your science teacher, has delightfully prepared... A feast that hopefully won't poison you all this time. I assume, hold up, I assume this right here is Dagrel? Uh, no, Dagrel's on top. Uh, NPC math teacher is below him. Nate's character is the oh, goth-looking dude here. Why, and is he why is he Sweeney Todd? <laughs> yes, Nate is Sweeney yes. Todd. Yes. It was a special request, and the principal is this dude at uh, at the middle. Okay, it looks a little a little stout there. But yeah, Equianimus has prepared a goodbye feast for you all, and his activity is is, is chemistry experimentation. Those of you that wish can go to the lab and start blowing things up. Under his supervision, of course. Some of the children cheer at this, others look horrified. <laughs> Why will all the boys have sticks? 
Uh, because there's only one default child male token in Roll20, while there's two default female children tokens. I, I, I distinctly remember giving every single child a more proper stick. <laughs> I love how there's two more boys than there are girls. Yes, that is also on purpose. Anyway, uh, as always, we have the uh, Metal Lane. Uh, Beloved nurse here, in case people do get blown up with supervision. Mm. Mm. I gave them better sticks. They're safer. Oh, you're <laughs> what happened to the sticks. God damn it. Wait a minute. And we have Margaret, a beautiful history teacher who, ha who has delightfully started a book fair for uh, for you all. Uh, there are a few free books in her lounge, and she's doing a read-along if any of you are so inclined. A couple of the kids mumble at this. There's only like one or two cheers. Woo! With that being said, uh, dig into your feast and fare thee well. The uh, imagine this green shit is a bunch of vegetables. Sure. There's a bunch of salads with weird spices on it as Halfway just smiles. Hmm. As the principal turn as uh the principal uh kissed Frux Frusk. Uh, uh just turns. Alright, now that that's over with I'm I'm leaving. The rest of you do whatever. I'm done. As he gets off the stand and starts walking away. Stupid bitch. I saw that coming. I gotta think of voice for this guy. But no. The kids are digging in and after the fact... Most of them split off. Most of them are going to the Fritz Ball thing. There's like, there's a small group of kids that actually do go to blow things up with Halfway. Uh, up here, I'll say. Uh, and two of the girls do go to the book fair. I'm going to stand up over here. All right, kids, come on. Whoever finishes first gets the first game of Fritz Blitz. Oh, hearing hear, hearing that, I go, you will eat. Do not choke on your food. Do not choke. No. Swallow. Chew. You can't play if you choke. Do not give them any bad habits, please. Uh, we're all about good habits. I need them to live. I would also prefer... Th yes. We've talked about this. Good. I'm. Where is my office? Uh, the nurse's office I put here at the number one. Ah. Oh! Sister DJ, I will get to you to your sections in a bit. I just want to get this out of the way first because that's going to be the most work. I wait for children to be ready for Fritz Blitz, and then we play the Fritz Blitz. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. A couple of them are stragglers, but they all finish their delicious quote-unquote salads. Yeah, I didn't eat it. <laughs> a couple of the kids look, look a bit not fond of it, but for the most part, it's one of the more... Delicious things that halfway is made. But, you know, kids be kids. Most of them didn't like the salad. Stop self projecting, Vern. Never. As they all start rushing out at your command to the playground, I guess I would cut and call it. We don't even have a fucking easy exit to it. We gotta go out all the way through the front. What's this bullshit? I'm gonna, you know oh, what? the children! 
No, you know what? No, right here. Ready? Sundering the wall. It's gone. <laughs> All right, I'll have you edit that later. <laughs> Right. Also, I deleted several of the 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 boys. So give me a second. They're still there, just invisible. Just throw them in the garbage. The, they were beta males. That we could have rebuilt them. Made them better, stronger. But no, as all right. So, uh, Mr. F Fuck, name. J Johansson. Mr. Johansson, well, uh, how, uh, I'm new here from, uh, don't ask why I'm here on the last day of school. I was going to say, on the last day of school, kid, you're, uh, you're pushing it. <laughs> they tried to put me into gnome school. It didn't work out. Anyway, uh, how, uh, what's Foot Split? Well, it's a, it's a game that I've made. And it's, uh, well. Deserving of the name. Now you see. Now fuck you. I hear you laughing over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is now a thing. Fuck you. So, the goal is there are two teams. We have the attackers, we have the defenders. And so, your goal, and I point down the field. See that hoop over there? Now it's basically just a basketball hoop, but more like a field goal. Like It's, it's upright. It's not a hoop that goes down. It's a hoop that goes in. Now, the goal is to get from this end to that end and put the ball through. Now, that's about it. Imaginary kid that doesn't actually exist says, isn't this basketball? Uh, no, because there's one side and that has also not been invented yet, to my knowledge. I'll double check that. Uh, check with the history teacher. No, <laughs> so the goal. Now, there are three stages. All the way at the beginning... Is that you get the most points if you if you throw the ball goes in the hoop, but realize there's a defending team. They can defend it. Now you get they get five attempts per stage, and if they run out of well, whatever they got to defend against, then you automatically move on to the next stage as the attackers. Now you can get out, you can get back in by waiting your timeout, and that long story short. At the end of the game, you take turns. Whoever got the most okay, points wins. Most points. Any other questions? Uh, no, I have a question. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, wait. Where are you? Even are you, Myrtle? Oh, there you are. Right. I didn't even see you. Wait, Myrtle. Is there safety equipment? Uh, yes. Not since the last time you asked, Miss Miss Wayne. We what? use softballs. It's okay. Okay. Well, if you're sure, I this is I just don't want to have this conversation again. Just three times time. is enough. There's a this. There's the sound of a distant explosion, which you' pretty sure is half away. Might oh, want to check oh, that one no. out. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All right, now it's under the gone. wall again. <laughs> Let's do it. Now to give a very brief explanation of the game, the first first stage is just kids trying to get through a couple small openings while the other defending team is th just throwing balls at them. You got three posts, five balls to a post. They run out of balls after the timeouts. That's it. We do have a time limit of about an undisclosed amount of time. They, make, they get through. Nobody makes the ball in. It's a very sad day. Second stage, it's pretty much the same thing, except the kids are now playing. You can't really tell if it's if it's wrestling, if it's if it's tag. It's something. It doesn't look dangerous. It's good. It's good that Myrtle that Myrtle's gone. Um, and the fourth <laughs> and final stage is just get the ball through the hoop. Defending team defends. There, you, you see children body checking each other. It's wonderful. And we have a oh oh lord, what's happening? Is it? Oh, they're they're fucking playing the game.
It's game game. Crap. Oh shit. Goal. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Uh, I was just putting them in random positions to simulate just, playing the game. The last game just breaks into chaos. There are no winners. There are no losers. <laughs> there, are so, several of the kids are dead. No. I will sunder the death, and they will be alive again because now the death is gone, <laughs> shattered into life. Myrtle, you walk in to see uh, uh, the two girls completely covered in soot, just uh, uh, bur bursting out of the smoke-filled room. Oh no, oh no, no, no. As Halfway is just... Uh, the sm uh, as you walk in, you get pushed out along with all the smoke. As halfway just strolls out, basically untouched outside of a bit of soot on his collar, as the boys just go, oh, it's wicked! <laughs> you madman! <laughs> Are you okay, girls? <laughs> it, was... <laughs> it was horrible, but also really cool. He made... He made the, 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 the burner thing turn green. Yes. That's, that's how, that's just putting copper on a Bunsen burner. That's basic. I taught you this in the second quarter. Maybe, maybe this is for the best, you know, uh, the last day of school. It, just keep them safe. Damn it. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um... As long as you're okay, we'll just come with me to the office and just check on you to make sure nothing's wrong. The kids are fine, Miss Wayne. I, well, now the, room is, now the room is a complete disaster, but that's the janitor's problem. Well, yeah, you know, that's the janitor's problem. But the kids are more important. Good little, good little boys and girls, come, come, we'll just go check you out in the, make sure you're all okay. Go along with her. Perfect. All right. You're all right. You're okay. Yes. Okay. I think I have smoke in my ribs. Okay. All right. Drink some water and use this ice pack. Now you're good to go. Uh, what do I put the ice pack on? Your ribs. Lavender loves you. Goodbye. Go. Go. Uh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. Ooh. That was close. That could have been cholera. <laughs> Typical school nurse. Oh, you got blown up. Here's an ice pack. That is. And abandoned. I'm going to continue. To, I'm going to continue to give ice packs to each of them and send them on their way. If only, if only this was an actual like degree nurse. Oof. Okay, they're all fine. That could have been that could have been terrible. Halfway begins uh, going to another room to start more shit. Come on, kids. Except you, Wayne. You stay. Regard no, that's the that's the reading thing. But no. Back to Fritz Blitz. No. Oh Lord. Uh yeah. The the defending the 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 first team has made some progress, but it's still basically all out chaos. There's been like two points scored in the past like forty five minutes. I'm just supervising at this point. Hey, uh, kids are doing what they do. No. I throw in the second ball. What? The mystical, the mystical second ball, children. And it's all like fancy looking. Got like sparkles and shit. 
Just throw it in there. I throw it. What stage are the, the attackers on right now? Uh, stage three. Oh, shit. I just throw it in. <laughs> One poor boy catches it, and everyone on the opposing team rushes him. <laughs> uh, gotta make Birdo work her last day. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> But no, this final day goes really well. There's only two actual in uh, injuries. Uh, the boy with smoke in his ribs, whatever that means, and one and the po and the poor boy that just got dog piled on by like fifteen other kids uh, has a fractured uh, knee that Myrtle can quickly fix up. Bullshit. Don't worry, I have ice packs. Just give him an ice pack, I guess. <laughs> Not, you know, use your magical healing oh, ability to oh, fix his wound. Ice packs. Well, obviously. Gosh. With that, uh, the kids start... Uh, about two more hours pass as the kids slowly trickle out. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fitz. Met the uh, uh, halfway. That they just start listing off the teachers as they all leave, getting their really small packs and shit. And yeah, kids leave for today. The last time. This year, at least. I got some bad news. <laughs> We're broke. <laughs> No, wait. <laughs> That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. No. I mean, we we've known this. I mean, this has been on the it's been on the roster. The principals have shut up about it. Oh well, yeah, no, that makes more sense. As I keep telling him, Lavender provides, but he doesn't listen. As you all, as you all as you all line up, Kiss does walk out. All right, uh, half of you are getting the axe. Just, I just stare at him. I, I didn't you know I was getting to... paid. You, where else do you get your check each month? Oh. Regardless, uh, yeah, we don't have the funding to keep this up, so we're cutting Jim. Uh, we're we're melding the math and science classes because they're basically the same thing anyway. Oh, thank heavens! And we don't have the money for a nurse anymore. We'll just take oh. them to the church if we need you. Uh, but, uh, so you want to cut pretty much every important aspect of these children's educations? I mean, no, we have history and we have a math plus science class. Uh, right, but that just. Sorry, they need, the kids need to know how to live, as well as uh, what happened and how to, how math works. He just shrugs. Well, I physically don't. The school does not have the funding to keep all of you. Uh, how about you throw a little bit of your your own money in there? He just blinks at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's our so what, hold up, what's the principal's name? I forgot the principal's name. Uh uh Keast Frusk. Frusk. Keys? Yeah. Uh, Mr. 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 Frux, principal, please. Uh I as I said before, Lavender provides in all different ways. Uh, the kids need a, a, a strong healthy program. The nurse's office is a way to treat the kids before it gets so serious that you need to go to the church. And if I'm not here, who will provide that service? He just looks. I ask you. I, I ask you to find the money. Your, I, I mean, Lavender provides. You know. He better just, start providing some money then. Well, I mean, obviously, if you just give him time and um, a, a little bit of prayer, I don't see you in church very often, and uh, just really, tr really try uh, to open your heart. 
to the needs yeah, of the children. Well, My only, th if you can somehow get, uh, how much are we in? Uh, oh, the yeah. man who wouldn't let us forget forgets himself. Golden. Well, this is the last day. I have to add up how much we lost from that last explosion half away. This is the reason why I'm cutting you specifically. I mean, that's just, so uh, true science won't be. Won't be defeated by things like monetary value. I mean, I mean, I mean less explosions are a good thing for the kids. I, I, I already had to deal with this Fritz Blitz thing, and I, that, that knee looked really bad. Regardless, uh, you will all need to get. We will. We will need to put together, uh, five thousand gold. In order to, to pay off the loan that we have, I, I, I faint immediately. Again, how about you throw a little bit of your own uh, into there, huh? Oh, I drew a quarter of my value into it. That's what that brought it down from 7,000. Uh huh. Listen, I have to pay bills and take care of my own mansion, too. I have my own servants to pay. Your own mansion, implying the rest of us have mansions, right? Because you pay us enough for that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Why not take Why not take jobs as adventurers? I know some of you have really exceptional abilities. Oh, uh, wait. I you forgot. For You're fucking teachers. <laughs> Why are we still here with this guy? Because I thought uh, we just let him lose the place and buy it ourselves. Uh, uh, the reason why you're still here because he does actually pay you a lot more than like actual teachers get. My point stands. I mean, I did give you all a starting gold of 150. Doesn't mean look if we gotta get the money anyway. Why let this man Wine continue? Uh, two percent away yeah. there. Yeah. But look, if we're gonna have to make bring up the money anyway, why bother let this guy keep running shit? I mean, you you could end the campaign by buying out the school. You know what? As this the, as these thoughts cross Fritz's mind, you know what? You know me. I'm all about uh equal opportunity and uh. Competitive. There we go. What's the, there's a word I'm trying to think of. I don't remember what it is. Competitiveness? Cooperation. Cooperation? Something along those lines. We'll do it. We'll come back before uh, we're getting in next year and we'll, we'll have the money. What do you mean? Uh, Margaret asks. You're not actually going to go out and do some fucking um, adventure, like slay dragons or any of that. Well, despite what our esteemed principal thinks of us, is, is there anything that's not expensive around me that I can break? Mm, there's a couple the wooden variety. There's a couple tables in the room behind you. Hmm. I think we'll be more than capable. Halfway just sighs and lets loose an energy blast of crackling darkness down the hall that just kind of fizzles out before it hits the wall. I think we have more than enough capabilities to, I don't know, slay some kobolds or goblins. No offense to you, ma'am. I'm I'm kidding. I hate goblins. I am. I wake up from my unconsciousness at the sound of goblin. What? Oh, you've done it now. Where are they? Where? Where are they? Uh, uh we're going to go make. We're going to go make up the money by goblin and kobold slaying. Oh, laughing. I, mean, I thought okay, that was a. Uh, I don't, I don't this actually get, was a nightmare. I don't actually want to get too ahead of us, but uh, you're. I feel like you're. Setting us up for something that uh, we haven't really agreed on. 
So nope. when, when, did, when did we just start? Huh? You're the one that wanted us to go out and make this money. Uh, oh. No, that was our jackass principle. Hold on. Was the part with the 5,000 gold really real? Yeah. Yes. Oh, go, go. To be fair, go I to... feel like about half of that is going to just go back into his pocket, but we'll find oh. out. I feel scenario, I'll poison him. Make that plan D. So uh, we we are going to go and be adventurers. We're gonna travel around, I suppose, and take up jobs. I suppose that's look. I love I didn't what I learn do. What... I feel like all of you love what you do. We want to stay here and actually give back to the community that hates non-short folk. Well. Uh, after saying you do what you love, the math teacher just starts walking away. Up yours too. G g goodbye. Lavender bless you on your travels. Now, I know that it's easy for me to say going on an adventure is, uh, is an easy thing, but come on. I feel like we can do it. I mean, I... if... Continue. I mean, if if it's the only way to help the kids, I I suppose it needs to be done. Uh, you know, lavender helps those who help them who help themselves. All right. I don't. You all. I'm gonna go try and stop a small fundraiser for this thing. I because Margaret is a. Uh, up there in years, she's uh, uh, pretty elderly. I think I'll just start a fundraiser in case that doesn't pay off. Maybe we could pull our money together. I don't think I'd be suitable for this kind of thing. Uh, Miss Margaret! Hey, do you know how many uh, kids we got in this school? About uh, from this last class, there was about, I deleted them, but let's just say about 60, 70 total. Hmm. Well, for all the parents we could get a sizable amount from just them even if it was five gold per we can't have the we can't force everything on the parents some of them are well, no but that's are why under, are under their are donations hungry. though miss margaret i will miss your brownies I mean, this probably isn't goodbye. I'll see you next year if you all don't die horribly adventurous. Oh, oh well, my name. Knuckles in the... Oh. Oh, shoot. I forgot, I forgot, so I forgot to just say hi with my phone. You can't I kind that. of forget those things. My phone has been kind of useless. I didn't have no... I had shit for internet in Dallas, Texas. Of all places, I have all right internet here, but shit internet in Dallas, Texas. What the hell's up with that? All right. So I Nate, mean, long story Texas short, Texas is shit nowadays, anyway. So <clears throat> I mean, long. Dallas. I could say I could agree with that. Like, I when I was walking back, when I was walking back from the from the House of Blues back to my motel, like I'm pretty sure I've seen at least seven prostitutes during the job in the alleyways, well, and at least, least a, let's a leave dozen the like, out of homeless school, people. Huh? Yeah, no. Keep, keep no, walking the awful. side roads. We'll pick him up later. Uh, no, I wasn't walking anyway. the side roads. I was walking the main street back to my hotel. Like, this shit was being done in plain view of police, and they didn't care. So. Nate, your character exploded some kids. They didn't die, though. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, That's I've been playing your right. character. I don't remember exactly what she said, but I've been playing your character as a cocky, semi-mad scientist who only cares about the progression of his craft. No, <laughs> you're playing me absolutely wrong. <laughs> nice. Listen, listen. Damn it. The, the 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 increasing of my craft is correct. Would I sacrifice the children? No absolutely not. Would I sacrifice their families, the parents, the moms and dads, aunts, and uncles? Sure, but not the kids. The kids don't deserve that shit. Oh, yeah. 
I, I kept the kids safe for you. Like, you're not killing the children on purpose. He's experimenting on them with love, all right? Okay, I mean, all right, I'll go, I'll give, as long as it's with love, okay? Well, no, that's what I'm saying, is what your goal was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. No. What Come you on. basically missed Phone, was Session, session Zero swear, in the not middle of the right last day of school. Uh, last day of school ended, actually. We're talking about how we're going to continue to fund the school. And also, the principal hates us all. I mean, but principal doesn't. Yeah. Oh, he, he did, I say I black didn't market hear him say that we're going to cut the food harvesting. program, which makes sense. Lunch program. So right now, Nate, your character would be, would be pretty much... Well, no, you wait. wait. Nate, your character was charged of food, right? Yeah, I cooked the yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah, so then I say we go out, collect food... And we harvest organs to sell on the black market. Uh, yeah. uh, all right, uh, then. Uh, I mean, no, no. Uh, Lavender. No, we don't know not... about that black market shit. Lavender would not appreciate actions like that. We we don't even know that he experiments on the kids. Well, Lavender Come on, man. doesn't know won't harm Wait, I Lavender. Didn't... Regardless. Um... I meant magical Ugh. creature organ parts, not human organ parts, but that's not a bad ideal. Thank you, Lavender. No, no, no. No, we should not harvest organs of humans at all. No, I wasn't suggesting that, but that is not a bad idea. Lavender does indeed provide. He Reg does. Regardless. Uh, with that, uh, Margaret will just... Uh, I do have to get back to my to my daughter. If, if that is all, I will see you potentially next year. I guess I won't see you at church then. You're we miss you at the bake sale. Bye. Well, I'll still be going to church. You won't. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. Dear. Goodbye, Mit. Bye. She's very fast for an old lady. Oh, she never showed it when she was playing Fritz Blitz. Oh, she was playing Fritz Blitz? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Well, not today. Oh, wow. Very spry. I never see her in the office. Well, I saw she was a door. She, she, she kind of participated once, but she, she was taking her time. Love her, but she was taking her time during Fritz Blitz. Time, time's against you. Yeah, I, I didn't get to Margaret's description earlier. She was a very elderly-looking dwarf lady, but unlike most dwarfs, she had a very sweet and kind personality. Yes, she's very kind. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine her playing flip splits. It's just such a violent game, and the rules are so out there. I, I can't keep track of them all. Uh, of course you can. That's why I just give kids the ice packs, huh? I, it's the only thing I can do. I can't even give them instructions on how to play it safer. I, I don't even know the rules. I tried explaining the rules to you before. I, I, there's, there's, there's nine phases of of, of, of single. What, what even is that? Nine phase. Where are you getting that number? Five. It's like was it five phases of the first? Oh, there are three. Before, before scoring, I. Before, no. See, this is quite. All right, this we'll, is have quite to, we'll have to go over it. I find personally that a uh, hands-on experience is, is is best. So we'll, I'll I'll make sure to bring the ball wherever we go. Set up a oh. set up some equipment. And you know what? Everything will work out fine. You'll learn for it splits. Oh, laughter! No, no, no. Oh, this come on. Bad. I'm I'm. You know what? Maybe we should. You have a lot of energy. Maybe we should go and. Find a way to help spend that energy to help the kids. You're very good with the kids. Keep I doing love the that. Kids. Keep... Of course. Yes. I'm just gonna look up to you and like put my put my goblin hand. Well, sorry, my human hand on your leg. And be like you know, pat your leg. You're very good with the kids. Keep keep doing that. Keep keep all that energy right there and keep them healthy and moving around. And I'm just gonna start like mumbling to myself and walking this way a little bit. Yes. 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 Towards my office. Good sportsmanship is what I'm all about, Myrtle. With that, 
we're gonna cut away for a moment. I'm gonna save you for less. Yeah. But we're gonna cut away for a moment to a random fucking patch of woods uh, to the southeast, uh, where a old stone gate uh, glows for an instant, sputters to life. And two, fam- and two, to the audience, familiar faces just pop out of this transparent of this. Oh my god! Gateway, literally kicked by what seems to be a half orc. Say, and don't come back, you useless bitches! As the portal uh, just. Fades away. As right, well, that didn't quite go as planned. He's just brushing himself off. Yeah, Nate, I'm using Riley. I, I, I remember telling you this, but just a reminder. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Riley and uh, Sordak? Yeah, no, Sordak. this is your Do cue, that. DJ. Well, that went perfectly fine. Okay. They just don't I'll know true awesomeness when they see it. I guess. Where are we anyway? We are, looks around, on the surface. Oh. Fine. Yep. That's my deduction. I wonder if Thomas is still okay. Didn't he fall down a pit? No. Sort of. Regardless, uh, this doesn't look like the Feywild, although it certainly is mushroomy. No. Not again. Not what? more of those. I found some of them to be quite delicious, actually. Well, there was this one. It was rather spicy. Mm. Well, well, let's just pick a deluxe and start walking. We're bound to find civilization that way. somewhere. Sure. Anyway, uh, I have no clue what to do from here. I just want to get back to the Feywild. Don't mushrooms have something to do with that? Not really. Unless there's like some super magic mushroom that acts as a gate. Well, you don't you know of any of those? It just turns. If I did, we would have found it. Maybe you're not trying hard enough. <sighs> As you two just keep walking, eventually. You see a small campsite to the north. Uh, about an hour later. Nate died. But at this campsite, somebody is harvesting mushrooms and just a bunch of herbs and shit. And this is where you are doing shit, sister. Up here? Okay. Yep. Zoom. You see a drow of all things and a really scarred, kind of ugly dwarf. <laughs> Don't show your cup. It looks specific, like a horse's ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, rem- uh, remember, uh, everyone. Uh, most people do not like drow, so racism is is advised. 
this is my character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you gentlemen lost? Nope. We're going that way. Yes, we are lost. In fact, she's a local. She probably knows what she... Are you a fox? A fox? Well, I can't say as such for Vix here. I am not. I hate this game. Anyway. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Uh, uh, well, nice to meet you, Fox Lady. I'm Riley, and this dwarf here is Grimbeck. We're kind of lost. Uh, a little back, we were kicked out of a magic portal, and I have no clue where we are. I like to look at it as we left the sorry asses. Uh -huh. Just because they were rude doesn't mean you can just kick their puppy. Look, that was oh. not a puppy. That was a creepy brain thing. That creepy brain thing talked and did cool tricks. I'm pretty sure that's because it ate somebody. Hmm. Fascinating. You see, I would know because I said it. So that means I'm right. And you know everything. Well, I've yes, told. of course. That's why I'm here. All right, Grimbach, and where is here? Here is the surface, yes. What continent yes. are we on? You know, the continent. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure it's the locals <laughs> refer to it like that. <laughs> Ma'am, do you know where the closest town is? Because we haven't had anything that wasn't mushrooms for a pretty long time. The opposite direction you're going. See, I was right. Mm, no. You, you no, pointed us weren't. towards here, Grimvac. But I'm sure there's a town that way, though. Thank you for that. About a hundred miles further than the one that is five miles from here, yes. Well, hey, I was right. Mm. <sighs> anyway, uh, thank you for the information, ma'am. We're gonna head that way. Uh, is there anything you'd like help with since helped us? Not particularly. Although you do seem like you need much more assistance. Why? She was giving a very pointed look at the dwarf. Well, I'm sure Riley here needs quite a bit of assistance, but that is why I am here. Mm hmm Indeed. Give me the racial effect. stereotypes are reversed with this pair, it seems. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, ignore that. Um, oh! Okay, that works. Yeah, ignore that. Anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I guess we'll be heading that way then. Uh, let's go, Grimvac. I'm tired um... of mushrooms and I'd like food. Make sure to find shelter before nightfall, otherwise you might get hunted. By what? Well, this and that. There are lots of big things that come out at night. Are they made of meat? Some. Excellent. Although they have mm -hmm. quite a few teeth and claws as well. 
I mean, I have a number of teeth as well. A few dozen, I think. Mm-hmm. Although, you, my tall fellow, will want to disguise yourself at the town. They don't take nicely to those that are of uh, differing races, if you take my drift. Uh, I am getting a bit sleepy. Let's just get this. Let's just get this over with. Maybe we can figure out how to get look, you back home and me back to the Feywild. Uh, 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 Trixie, you actually don't have. Uh, you. This isn't really important, but you have never heard the term Feywild before. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Interesting. In, yeah, it doesn't exist in Pathfinder, so. Oh, well. But yeah, let's just get moving. Yes, well, I suppose the closer town is a good idea. I'm still convinced that the town of that way would have had everything we needed, though. I don't want to walk for a hundred more miles before Look, getting you could use the muscle. You are rather skinny. Just because he has eight strength doesn't mean he's skinny. You are a puny weakling. <laughs> Where did that gate even go? Like, it was... It wasn't a spell. There should have been a gate here. Look, magic is fucked up. I what mean, is the cotton this quote unquote continent called, by the way? Uh it is The Continent. Blank. Give me a second. Uh it is called Aviston. By the way, welcome to Aviston. Let's see how you fare with these parts. Uh, both of you have never heard anything even close to that name before. Sounds like fun. And with that, we will flash back to the... This isn't the school, but I, I need this. To the three teachers walking down the street discussing what they're going to do while I set up maps. Uh huh. Hello? Oh. Fucking hate that principal. <laughs> Snooty son of a dick. He is quite rude. I'm gonna... If I say anything more, it'll... somebody's gonna d determine that to be in character and will not be my character. Fritz will not Have be we... popping the skull. Have we fully decided what we're going to do? Uh, if you can be really honest, I don't think we have. But I suppose we have to find out what adventurers truly do. I've never thought about being an adventurer, so. I guess we just go out and find out what needs to be done and. For, for pay? I I guess. I don't you, know, I'm not typically the smart one here. You uh, do... You, the three of you do know that there is a small hunter's lodge that... But it, it, it's really small and 
pretty much unused because gnomes aren't much for hunting. Maybe there's someone there. Otherwise, maybe there's some things from the various churches you could do. And I mean, if nothing else, you could go out of town. Just take requests. I could go talk to the senior sisters at the church and see if there's anything that needs to be done. I suppose anything is better than nothing. I guess I'll just go and do that as I leave. There we go. Entryway. Give us a minute. Regardless, uh, map. I need him, him, and her. Perfect. Town map. There we go. Oh, Lord. Where is my temple? Uh, so there's specifically a temple of Lavender to the, that that's the golden one. There's a church to Joaquin, goddess of fortune. Uh, to the top right here, and there, what? What is what is Trich's? Shut up. Rocks fall, you die. Make a new character. With my final word, Trich's. Uh, and this bottom one is a bunch of is a two story church with a bunch of no with the gnome pantheon like Garo Glittergold, Erdlin. K to the end, uh, silvery hands. I don't remember the other names. No one's got everything here. Where's Bob? I'm gonna... Who's that? Exactly. Sounds like a heathen. Uh, halfway just goes, I could inquire in the Hunter's Lodge if you want to just go and ask people yeah, i'm going to go to the church it's halfway we'll go south if i were a person with information where would i be the local library yeah, there's an art that would be somewhere I'm going to go to the place to get drink. I'm going to go to the bar? What a terrible teacher. Oh no, I have a Not life outside anymore. of school. Impossible. Throw me away. Donde esta la bar? Regardless. Uh, church first. So you go in, you see the usual gaggle of, n of nuns and the two actual other clerics uh, all doing their business. A few are in prayer, but it's mostly empty. There isn't really any service going on today. Oh, brothers and sisters in the faith. I have uh, returned. Miss Lane, uh, school, uh, how was the last day of school? Oh, Lathander provides more trials. Sadly, the school is in debt and cannot pay to stay open. The good principal has decided to cut most funding to some needed cuts, to be fair, such as 
print splits and whatnot, but other things that don't need to be cut, like the good church. They want to send the kids here instead of the nursery. I, the nurse's office. Oh, sadly. You but mean they can, child, they can they can actually get tre- they can actually get treated, and you don't and we, you aren't mandated to only give out ice packs anymore. Sadly, they my ice pack my ability to give out ice packs was quite known. I was quite good at it too. Mm. Having a having a nurse on site was good, but the fact that you could only do that is kind of pointless. Lavender provides, please, please. Yeah, he provides you with amazing abilities to heal and protect. Yes, and I was able to do that by keeping the children safe, but no more, unless we can figure out a way past this trial. Any ideas? I'm looking... Uh, a couple of the, well, mostly one uh, teacher, a uh, colleague of mine, has made a very interesting proposal. Uh, I am entertaining it, but only if I could find things to do to procure money, maybe uh, out of town. Any ideas? I mean, the lo- the local market has a caravan that comes through, like, twice a month to get to get a few uh, spices and, and as a resources from out of town maybe you could but you could wait a few days and ask them but we're pretty well off monsters don't really come around gnomes are as race as racist as they are there's only like one gnome in the church right now and he just goes are pretty well at concealing their residency but regardless try the marketplace maybe the bar adventurers like bars don't they yes at the den of sin but what we must do trials to overcome out of character, John, you're very hard. <laughs> very much preacher. What? You're just the most preacher preacher I've ever heard. I have yet to preach a single bit of the gospel yet. <laughs> I'm scared, but no, back into this thing. Uh, as on that... Just follow, follow our Lord Lavender, and he'll probably give you something. If nothing else, if he deigns at a vision. True. Perhaps I should go in in prayer. Thank you, brother. Oh, yes. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna no go problem. to the opposite. I'm gonna go to the opposite side of the of the of the gnome, mm. and I'm just gonna start praying. All right. With that, we will cut to the bar with uh, Fritz. You have to you have to slouch a bit because the bar is one of the gnomish buildings. Yeah, but once sure fucks. Once you're inside, you see standard stuff. A couple of drunkards having a good time. Uh, there's a couple that's drinking and have, have doing some polite shit chat. It's pretty empty. I mean, it is a Friday night, which should be busy, but the town is pretty quaint and quiet, low population. Mm. Who's behind uh, the bar? Uh, a gnomish woman with curly red locks and a scowl on her face. Is there anyone else? Not really. Just the three drunkards and the the two and the two the couple. There is a janitor in the back that's cleaning out some of the cups though. My fellow worker. <laughs> he he is a dwarf, you know. Is it because I've met him before and I and I asked him, or is it just because I can look at him? You can look at him and see, oh, that's a dwarf. 
Okay, so I, my eyes work. Good to know. I know this. Okay. Uh, it's been a while. Leave me alone. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the janitor. Fuck it. Cleaning man. He's my man. Huh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to uh scare scare you. You. Uh, welcome. So, if you if you want something to drink, you should go talk uh, to. Oh no. Um. Look, I'm actually I'm looking. I guess for information. Um. Do you know of anywhere that? I guess a guru can kind of get us start adventuring, or if there's anything of the sort. I don't know how this works. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not much for any. I'm just a. I'm just a barkeep, sir. But I would imagine you just go out and do things like find a cave or a dungeon and start killing things why does everyone seem to think adventuring is just killing things we could do good mm -hmm. without killing things i mean if, if that's what it takes then I, I i guess but i don't know i i'm new to this i i'm look i'll be honest you look a lot easier to talk to than uh I'm just pointing over to the freaking gnome. Uh, Alberta's just had a pretty bad day. Uh, uh, one of the customers earlier decided to puke on her gown when she came in. I see. Is there a way to, I suppose, cheer her up? Would a, no, would she, a she, tip uh, or anything? I mean, probably, but it just She'll, she's fine for now. She's just upset. Hmm. Well, thanks. One working man to the next, and to another. Mm -hmm. And uh, hold on. Hold on. What are you? Where was it? Oh, I gotta freaking learn this. I'm going to give him a silver piece. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Ah. Don't worry about it. I'll just walk away. You want to you wanna cut there? You want to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will cut to Grimvac and Riley, actually, uh, walking in. Yeah, uh, walking into a small town for, uh, after a few after an hour or so of walking. Uh, finally, these buildings are kind of small. A lot of them are. Yeah, I've definitely seen better. Like the stuff that my people have built. Home was much nicer than this. Yeah, regardless. It's better than dealing with the underdog. Nearly oh, yeah. a year. The place was a shithole. Anyway. Ooh, there's a market over there. Maybe they can point us to an inn. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could also do that, see. Any points in a random direction? Uh, he hello? Uh, at this, a little, a little, uh, bald gnome just st walks over to the counter behind the door. Ah, yes, what can I... What? Uh, he just walks over and just screams and points. <laughs> Shuts the door and you hear a, the small ting of a lock being put on. Uh, Grimzak, what was that? Please remember, you were warned.
I suppose I was just too amazing and awesome for his eyes. Well, maybe in the next building. Maybe it was just a fluke. You know, I'm pretty sure the bar would just be there. Pointing in a random direction. I mean, they'll try. As Riley knocks on the door. A little slouching a bit as he does. The door. Uh, hello? I don't know why, but the, my microphone isn't catching my screams. But yeah, uh, another scream, another door lock. Uh, uh, maybe fact, you're just bad at this. Let me try the next one. I bang uh, on the door. Yes, yes, what do you want? I need uh, drink. Where? Oh, uh, well. The bar is over to the... Uh, just keep following this road. Once you get uh, to the... Once you get to a small turn that in a crevice, r the building before that with the green roof is the bar. Cool. Thanks. Here, have a spicy mushroom. And walks away. Uh, thanks. As you walk past and he sees Riley, he also screams, locks the door. Maybe he doesn't like spicy mushrooms. I don't think they like me. I mean, maybe you're just not trying hard enough. I, to get people... Okay. Hey, you two continue to walk to the bar. A uh, few, uh, you d there is another gnome walking along the path. He sees Riley and he bolts in the opposite direction, turning invisible as he does. But no. Ah, so with that, we will cut back to Fritz in the bar. I can tell Dagro when he's muted now. I can. It's beautiful. I suppose I'll walk over to a upset gnome lady. Eh, what do you want? Uh, I suppose a bit of information if uh, you have a moment. Ah, as long as you don't... Whatever. Uh, what do you want to know? Is there anybody who comes through here and... Uh... I don't know, needs jobs done. I mean, there's the Lumber Consortium of like 20 miles to the east that always could use some help unloading wood. They, I hear they have to deal with timber wolves every now and then. Uh, to the west, I hear Bell or I hear Bellerin has had a few run ins with. I heard something about a wild, something like a uh, Amber Hulk or something. I don't, I don't keep up to date with these monster attacks or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, other than that, there's the merchant caravan coming in. They might want bodyguards or something. They make a short loop around, uh, the. The the the, Ver, the Ver Duran Forest uh, point. This is like the for, the big forest that all of you live in. Mm. Uh, but yeah, as of that, not really. Wait a second. Aren't you the? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um. Or, or... One of my son's friends, Bobby, said something about a new uh, their gym teacher teaching them a cool sport or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a it was a funny little game that I made up for him. Um, mm. yeah. I mean, the rest of the school has not got the best funding. Um, and it, it's good for kids to stay active anyway. Um.
So, you know, I, I, I do my best to, you know, get some of that energy out. And just... As you say this, the door slams open as everyone just sees a, a hideous dwarf barge in see, with all sorts of, ar- of weapons and armor and shit. And behind him, a horrifying... For some reason, really colorful, clothed drow. As I, I'm gonna turn a little more. Oh, okay, and my, my head swivels just to see them enough. I then recognize what the hell I'm seeing. I spin around and I put my arm in front of the gnome lady. Drink here. Somebody said so. What is he doing here? Um, I, 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 I take offense to that. I am a person. You may call me Grimvac, and I would like drink. So, so DM, I gotta know, what's the, uh, the drowish experience around here? I, I know general racism, but, like, any, any raids or anything on this town or, or anything like that? No, the drow typically just are xenophobic and shit they they're evil as fuck but they tend to keep to themselves uh, in this setting like any contact with them ends bad but it's really rare that you actually have them like out doing anything they're more like of a boogeyman kind of thing i don't want to speak for the good lady here but i don't think they serve his kind what are you talking about? Surely you can't be that dumb even for a dwarf. I mean, I also take offense to that. I am quite intelligent, and I have no I... idea what you're talking about. Why I... is the elf here? Oh, oh. That's not an elf. That's a fairy. I, I am an elf. I'm, I'm technically a drow. I thought uh, you um, said you were a fey thing. I come from the fey wild. Um, again, nobody knows what the fuck that is. But it, it's okay. I, I, I'll leave if you need me to. Grim back, just uh, buy me some food and a new bedroll, all right? If he's with you, he's leaving with you. I mean, I would have to say no. <laughs> is this an establishment that sells drink? The and are you the no. owner? Get out of my town. Are you the owner of this Get town? Get out of my town. I don't think that is an answer. I'm the owner, oh, the hello. redhead answers. And... I have gold. Do you have drink? She just, t- she just, t- she just walks over. I want you both to please leave this establishment. I don't know if you're nice or not, but I'm going to assume that you're from some other world or something. You do not like drow here. It's more common than you think. She, she mutters. We don't like his kind here. Drow or bad? I mean, I, I saw. What Please leave. If you need something, there is, there is a shop to the south of a couple miles out. Pretty varied. I'm sure it'll accept you, but we don't. Here you're not we welcome. Don't. Here. Well, sure. I don't mind going somewhere else, but do you have drink? I will buy the bottle. I am rather thirsty. You are leaving here empty-handed. Now get out. I mean, I don't think that's up to you to decide. It is up to this fine woman here. She just walks to the back, pulls out two bottles of basic-ass ale. Will you please leave now? Excellent. If she tries, yeah. if either one tries to move towards the other one, I'm gonna stop them. I'm gonna take the 
the drinks from the lady. Walk him over. Give her the gas. I mean, I suppose here you may keep the rest of this as your tip because you work here. I'm going to invest in the money. So the money looks weird. Like it doesn't look like it was printed right. Like it's foreign, but not any country you've seen. It's still real gold though. Or real silver or whatever he used. You assume it's just under dark money. I just show it to the lady. You accept this? Mm, gold to gold. It is indeed gold. Mm, I can gold tell gold. you that. I'm a dwarf. We know these things. Get out. Or I break you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could do that. Let's just go, Grimvac. You were asked to leave. You agreed to leave when you got what you wanted, so get out. Well, yes, I am leaving, but do not try to break me. I will break you instead. Uh -huh. And he turns around and walks away. In fact, we shouldn't anger these people. I don't want to get into another situation like with that terrible dragon. I mean, look, when somebody tells me that they are going to try to break me, I do not appreciate that. He was a scrawny man. I don't appreciate why these people are all screaming bloody murder at me, but whatever. Well, Just see, go. it is because we went to this town instead of the one that I originally pointed to. You know what? I'll give you that. I'd like to point out that I'm loosely built like a heavyweight boxer. I would like to point out that Grimvac <laughs> is like 100% muscle. And 100% dwarf. Meaning two hundred percent muscle. But no, as you two are leaving, uh, is there anything uh, Myrtle or Fritz would like to do before I move on to something else? Myrtle. Yeah, you're in the church thing, praying. Yeah, I was waiting for the words from my god. Uh, you get nothing other than wait for the rising sun, and it will show you. Shit. Looks like we're waiting for the rising sun. Uh, yes. That is funny, isn't it? And that is what I shall do. After that, I'm going to uh, go towards the bar, because that's the only other place I've heard about. Uh, you see uh, Fritz there, looking somewhat disgruntled, I assume? Yeah. He's got a tense in the shoulders. Well, uh, oh, uh, Mr. Fritz, uh, what happened? A drow and the dwarf came by. Oh, Lavender, a drow? Yeah. I mean, dwarfs are nothing but drow, that's... That's that's crazy. I'm I'm the happy you're okay. Some form of brain damage or something. I don't know. Oh, that's so terrible. The drow seemed to kind of order him around, and he listened. I I, I suspect the worst. <laughs> that's. Whew. I'm just happy you're alright. That could have been terrible for you. Uh, it wasn't me that I was worried about. It's just the town. Well, I mean... The children, yes. We, we already deal with a lot. 
And with these new challenges, I, I fear that maybe... No, I, I can't. He does not give us more burdens than we can bear. <sighs> what were you going to say? Nothing. There's so many... Lavender has put so many challenges on me, and it even puts more challenges on the town. Perhaps we don't do enough. We do what we can, Myrtle. But I'm, I'm glad to see you're okay and nothing terrible happened. There's no destruction. I, I hear that drow are pretty destructive. I'm glad That's to see that... Thing. This drow is colorful. Colorful. You clothes. They said something about a fey wild, but I've never heard of a forest or an area of forest or anything with that name. Hmm. Um, Who am I to know what spider kissers do on their fair time, on their free time? Well, <laughs> truthfully, I wouldn't want to know. Yes, yes, yes. But they demand a drink, and oh. the barkeep here had to oblige to get rid of them. Well, the good protection of Lavender has saved this town once again. And you're no in small part to you. Thank you. I just did what anyone else would do. Great. Well, I've heard some things about the merchant. Uh, the, 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 cell, the local merchants around here may have jobs, and... That we could be a part of from outside of town. Perhaps we should go there and look. Yeah, I, I heard that the, the caravan was going to come through at some point. I, I'm i assuming you didn't find anything of use here, or else you'd be telling me by now. Um, well, there, there were a few. Ah, you know, things. I gave expert information. Thank you very much. The redhead pipes up from I, behind the counter. I was, I, I was going to get there. Um, there's the, uh, the timber yard. I suppose they're facing issues with wolves. Um, and something of a an amber hulk, some kind of strange oh. monster. I'm not sure. Oh lord! Oh lord! If you want to give a knowledge check, you could see what you know about anything like that. Uh, what would you want for knowledge? Just like na nature, nature. Knowledge. Give me so knowledge like engineering. Dungeoneering? Dunge Dungeoneering. Oh, shit. Well, I got wait. wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, I know I did. <laughs> I thought I didn't put my ranks into things, but I did. Uh, Dungeoneering 2. Yep, no clue. No. Uh, here, I'll do it. 15. Myrtle, they're probably talking about an Umber Hulk. Weird burrowing crab monster thingies that can confuse people with but a glance. Oh, it's some lavender damned monstrosity. That can't be good for the town or anybody else. <sighs> it's mm. like a it's like a Medusa, but instead of petrifying you, it petrifies your brain. I need that to pray. Um uh, it's uh, uh my anger has been flaring recently with these trying... Uh, with Bel trying Bellerin to... was... What, what were you saying? Uh, nothing. Out of, out of speaker talk. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I, was like, I, I apologize, Fritz. My anger has been flaring recently. These challenges are getting to me, but perhaps we could do something about that. I, I don't want to do anything that would put... My friend's in danger, but if you feel that you are strong enough to weather the storm, I will be there to help. Well, I don't know about this monster, but I don't think that any form of adventuring that we're going to get ourselves into is going to be very safe. True, true. We'll, we'll but if there's... consult with the rest of us in there. We'll, we'll see well, what we do can we, do. Do we need to talk with with, um, uh, what's, uh... Equianimus. What? Yeah, e e equianimus, yeah. Science teacher is Equianimus Hathaway. I've, oh, yeah, Nate, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Hathaway. Yeah. Um, Do we need to talk one, with 
with I'll check with him. Madman Hathaway. Yes, Madman Hathaway. <laughs> I say with I squint you my eye. You ever, you ever hear you say that to him? Is he here? No, he's never. I've never. He's never heard me call him that. But <laughs> he is a madman. Oh, I wait for the day that he does. Cutting away from that, we will meet back up with the two, with the two outcasts of the town walking across the bridge. As out of a small hut that's kind of a guard post, looks like, Equianimus steps out. Edgar Allan Poe, gothic, crazy-ass looking dude. That's literally sweet God. I've never seen I've never seen that movie, so I don't know. Thank you. I thought I I was sure it was Sweeney Todd. Yeah, that's the Demon Barber of Fleet yeah. Street, right there. I, yeah. Yes, Sweeney Todd is what Nate requested for his token. So, but yeah, yeah. he walks out, turns, eyes go maddening wide at the drow, but instead of running in terror like the rest. He marches forward straight in front of Riley and looks him up and down. Riley's over here. Yeah, right here. He's right here. Not there for me. Oh. No. Sorry, he's right. He's on top he's of this. He's right thing. in front of uh, Sweeney Todd for me. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's near. Here. Mine is. Okay, if you... okay, he's over here now. He's over here now. Weird. Sorry, sorry. That was weird. Sorry. Uh, can. I help you. No, excuse me. I've just never seen a drow in the flesh before. I'm pretty sure he's a fairy. No, he's not. Fairies are tiny creatures with wings. I mean, I've seen all sorts. Some of them are tiny, others are colorful and large. For forgive my lack of manners, and who might you two gentlemen be? I am Grimvac, the most intelligent, smartest, strongest person around. By the way, uh, I'm going to retcon everything this man says once Nate gets back, but the event still happened. But yeah, interesting. And you, dark-skinned gentleman. I'll just cut that out of YouTube. Anyway, uh, I'm Riley... Uh, you're not gonna run in terror like everyone else has? Oh, no, 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 no. See, I know I could kick a, dr a drow's ass. I mean, you can't kick my ass, though. You could definitely kick Riley's ass, though. He's a bit of a pansy. Uh, God. Uh, would you two, if, uh, yeah, you said you two were tumble, I'm sorry if people are be upset by your presence. It's just, there's a very unfavorable opinion of your kind around here. Completely unfounded, of course. Just, uh, a lot of records show that there hasn't been a substantial raid by the drow in several decades. If you two need to, you can look pretty frazzled and dazzled. If you two need to, I can lend you my spare bed and couch for the night. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a town that way that is going to be a hell of a lot nicer than this place. I mean, if you want to hike 40 miles to the south, sure. I mean, yeah, that's not that bad. I do that every morning before my breakfast, which is pure nails. Uh, no. I'll assume Indeed. that's that's no then, and I would carry on with my way. Thank you for your time, though. Up the way, no, I don't have a bed, please.
I mean, you can feel free for the offer. I, I'm just saying that. My house is too up from the market. Goodbye. As halfway will turn and continue striding along. What are you doing, Grimvac? Someone that isn't running away, isn't trying to murder and or scream at us, and a free bed. They might even have food that isn't mushrooms. Or beer. I mean, the only food that I need is beer. So are we, go are we going to hike another 40 miles for no reason, or are we going to sleep in a bed? Well, it would put some much-needed muscle on those bones. In fact, I swear, I will shove this stave where the sun doesn't shine. So you're saying that you want to go back to that hellhole? And, because there was no sun down there for quite a while. Let's just, let's just go. If we're gonna go, let's go. I don't want to hike anymore today. Well, fine. I guess your pansy ass needs a comfortable place to sleep. As if you hadn't gotten used to the rock. I think that was rock down there. I mean, we used mushrooms Probably too was. for beds. That kind of sucked. If you... I'm just saying it would be nice to sleep in a comfortable place for once. You know, the rock isn't that bad. It was the mushrooms that were bad. As you all get to that supposed house, uh, there's just a note on the door that says, Yes, welcome. Uh, I have to go speak with some compatriots about job opportunities. Feel free to anything in the fridge that, ha that doesn't have a label. That is perfectly edible. Anything that does will kill you. I would like to take that as a challenge. But I think I need more beer first. Yeah, you step in the door and it's pretty cozy but small home. Ha uh, there's a small basement downstairs that just looks like a science lab, but upstairs there's be a two-bedroom. One of which looks completely bare and is more like a guest room. A couch, a couch and small kitchenette. And in the kitchenette, there's some basic food, lots of spices, a few, and a lot of fruit. And there is two bottles of wine and a small thing of. Dorvenale. Although this brand, the brand on it is is unfamiliar to you, Grimvac. I will scoff at the wine and then pick up the ale and test its quality. It's weird. It's n definitely not anything you've tasted before, but it's still pretty good dwarven beer ingredients you can tell that something is different about it though a bit more spicy actually i bet this would go great with some of my spicy mushrooms this place is really nice i've never seen a house like this back home with, with that Oh, uh, Grimbeck, do you want to try any of the unmarked bottles? No, not particularly. Not right now. All right. With that, we'll cut back to the... I assume that Fritz and Myrtle, you're walking out of the bar? Yeah, if that's what is deemed appropriate, I suppose. Yeah, you two see Equianimus just casually striding along. 
And what have you two found? Oh, oh. Well, there was a drow, for one. Fascinating. I, I, I met, I met them traveling oh, away as well. Well, one of those yes. bastards winds up around here with a dwarf that's stupid to match, and you just say, "Oh, that's interesting." Oh no, I met them. Uh, they, they were on their way out when I saw them. Yeah. Oh, lavender. Good riddance. He's just scoffed. Wait. Listen, they were fat. They, a drow hasn't been seen in these parts in years. It would yeah, have been fascinating. A true blessing, honestly. Regardless, uh, the only thing I could get from the lodge was the was news of the ca of the merchant caravan coming in tomorrow morning, and. There have been a few sightings of giant moles in the area, but you know the gnomes, they love moles. Yes, uh, yes. What I got was oh, a caravan as well. Um, some kind of whole Myrtle knows more than I do. Truly, and it's easy. Something for the timber yard, but that doesn't seem to be something that I just kind of look at the rest. Of the, my, my two, my two co-teachers that doesn't really seem to be something that uh, three of us be able to do. It seems so, that the divine are pulling us in the direction of the caravans. I suppose. Who are we to truly deny their expertise? Perhaps they know more than we. <clears throat> Maybe, but I am a man of science first and religion second. And I think we should, before anything else, check and see if there's anything with this caravan tomorrow. Agreed. And even so... after that, I think we should spend today and honestly the next few days preparing to travel to some other towns, maybe? Well, seeing as how they're going to cut the program anyway, I can grab some of the equipment from the school. The yes, yes. Equipment. Preparing for rain would be better than not. I know that we have at least tens and things from our little survival missions. Uh, the kids like those ones. Mm. Is it truly all you found? As uh, Myrtle gets closer and looks up at him again, pats him on the leg as well. You've done a fine job getting information. Lavender is pleased mm. with you. Even though you're a heretic, he's pleased. I can tell. How can you be pleased with a heretic? Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Well, he loves everyone. Just because he's a heretic doesn't mean he's out of love's reach. I'm surprised you know what an oxymoron is, Fritz. I'm not as dumb as I look. That is a big word. Eh, maybe I'll surprise you with another one later. Oh, well, I mean, do, do you mind telling me what it means? It's, I mean, it is a big word. Uh, I mean, yeah, it just kind of means that it contradicts itself. Contradicts. I've heard that being thrown around in the yeah. church before, but never really cared to know what that word means either. It means the two things, it, it represents two ideas that really don't go together. It's kind of like you're saying, I'm, you're going to throw, you're going to light some ice on fire. It, it, it doesn't work out. Ah. Uh, uh. Ah, oh, I see. Things that don't work. Yes. Like a tall dwarf. Yes. Uh, well, not quite. There there can be dwarves that are relatively tall, but I mean, for as far as, you know, six foot dwarves, then no. Well, that, uh, that, that, would, be a, that would be an elf, wouldn't it? You got a funny brain in that head of yours. Oh, godless. Settled. Nothing else. If you want to get camping supplies, Fritz, I'll go get plenty of food and preservables and and other supplies like that. If you, Myrtle, you want to make sure that we have any and all medical supplies we would need. Well, of course. I'll be off immediately. Wonderful. 
and agree to meet up at the market around 9, 10 a.m. Sure. Sounds more than doable. Lavender, bless you both. I'll be on my way. See you both later. Have a good night. With that, uh, Trixie, you are probably back from forging by Uh, some shocking things have been on the gossip as you're walking past with the afternoon crowd. Apparently there's been a drow on a dwarf. Can't imagine why. Hello? Chibi. Oh God, I was muted. You were. Yes, I also have one of those fucking beetles in my room bugging me. Love it. Yeah, the, the tree in the front yard is apparently infested with them, so that's fun. Regardless, yeah. You come in and you've been hearing rumors of a drow and a dwarf coming in and storming the place, terrorizing citizens. All right, before I get too far, I would like to do that. All right, you look like a person. Yes, so we get rid of this. Okay. Bang, cooperate, please. Thank you. And now you're an elf. Well, no, I didn't want to. I was lazy. And now you're an elf. Sure. Oh, no. Yeah. Is, is she actually an elf or a human or whatever? It's supposed to be a human disguise. Ah, okay. I just didn't feel like fucking with the token any more than I already did. You're a human with pointy ears, regardless. Mm hmm. Uh, I assume you're going back to your home. I honestly didn't think I lived in the town. I honestly thought that was the whole point of you being a potion seller here. No, it's obviously for the ingredients that grow in the area. Hello. Hello. Regardless, yeah. You're gonna live here. Oh. Which one's my house, then? I have uh, a <laughs> Probably this tiny little hut here. Makes sense. Yeah. No. You're ready to sell potions for tomorrow since the caravan is coming in, which will be a good for money. Mm-hmm. Can actually make some money. <laughs> yeah. But that's just to get you back in the town. And after that, we have Equianimus walking in to see Riley strewn on the couch snoring. And what are you doing, Grimback? Because it's late afternoon. I am sitting there sipping on I mean I'm sure I'm finished with at least two of the three bottles of beer at this point so I'm sipping on the third one and I'm talking to the snake that is sitting on the table as the door opens and you see halfway step fascinating can you speak to animal I mean this one yes and I'm pretty sure I could speak to most others it just depends on if they care to listen or not. Fascinating. Uh, the, hello, Snake. He's As he a bit walks of a dick. Voice to it. Well, if he's a dick, then why do you keep him around? I mean, because he puts up with me. And, well, make yourselves at home. I'm just preparing. I have to... Uh, a business I'm a part of is going bank, is losing funding, and I, me and a few colleagues are going to go adventuring or some sort to 
make up some money before I lose my job. Can't oh, imagine no. why they would have me fired. That doesn't make much sense. No. See, you have great taste in at least dwarven alcohol. I don't know about your wine taste, though. That's pretty pansy shit. I'm not much of a drinker. I just keep it around to put for cooking. Well, that is fair enough. If you use good alcohol in cooking, that makes it that much better. I have to go to the market tomorrow and buy stuff and buy, make and talk to the caravan leader tomorrow. So I'm going to prepare stuff and head to bed. Sounds like fun. Adventuring is quite enjoyable, especially when you get to beat shitheads in. Uh, you two adventurers yourselves? Well, I mean, I've seen quite a bit of shit, so yeah. As he sits down and get, and starts... Uh, uh, well, not sits down, but as he's uh, perusing through his pantry, he, well, please go on, I might need some advice for this. I'm, on, well, I'm let just me tell you this. Right? If you ever come across some strange cannibal fish people, do not let them summon their god. Cannibal fish? What? Yeah, they were fucking freaky. As that discussion will go on for a good portion of the night, we will cut to the next morning. And so, good news for you, for the for the two outcasts, Riley casts the sky self, and looks like a another dwarf. That's a pretty shitty dwarf you got there. Not nearly as wonderful as me. He just deadpan stares. I have a lot of experience. I, I, I took this design from heart, learning from you. Well, you didn't learn good enough. You're not quite as handsome as I am. Well, you can cast magic, uh, Equiana says, uh, hauling a big bat. Fascinating. I have a bit of a unique ability myself. Uh, as he uh, quickly gets some other stuff prepared and a small jar of a small ink pot. He just silently levitates into a pocket in his bag. Oh uh, God. If you two want, uh, seeing as you're disguised, you two can come. He just looks at you. I don't know if my colleagues would Mm. Whatever. I have hey. to get ready for the marketplace. If you're going to go and punch some shit in, I will join you. Well, while I have this spell up, I'm going to go and... I'm going to go and... Actually... Cool. I'm going to go and do some shopping at the market myself. I forgot how to look at spells without fucking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will assume all of you start to meet up at the market. Yeah, more or less. We meet at the place we say we to meet. Myrtle is very excited. She has all of her adventuring gear on already. She looks very much not like a school nurse. He is disguised. She has one very big, long braid going down, ready to attack. Mm. She looks ready to kick ass to take names. As you, I assume, all are 
just drooping. I thought, oh, but so many customers today. How, how can I help you all? It's a very basic general store. It's not even very much in terms of adventuring gear. It's just general shit like food. It's basically just a grocery store. Halfway. Halfway. Yes. What? I am prepared. I, I see that. I have communed Zero with... Rope. I have communed with my god and we have found that this trip will be a pleasant thing. Mm. I am Me ready and I as I pull out my small mace, I am ready to smite any who get in our way. And I start do a couple practice swings. Yeah. Ha. Uh I'm going here I'm here are my new uh two people that I met uh last night. Uh they came and asked for some food, and it was... They were polite about it. And they're previous adventurers as well, so I figured I'd ask them for advice. This is Grimvac and Riley. Oh, seniors in our trade. Yeah, it looks like you could use some more rope, though. I'm rope? Do I not have it to the market. Uh, you see the door from before, along with another door... God damn it. Hey! But I told you to get lost. I'm just kind of storm up to him. No, no. Yeah, you should really have at least 50 feet of rope at all times. You never know when you're going to get stuck down a hole. What's this about? Monster for brains. This, I think he's talking to you. I just think... imagine Grimbeck is looking around like, who's he talking to? Oh no, he's just, you know, going on about how, you know, rope is rather useful. Oh, this what's is... Grimbeck got on him? That's visible. What do you have that's visible on you, Grimbeck? I mean, probably some rope. Uh, any form of weapons? Uh, he's got a couple hammers. He's got some oh, armor. Yeah. A backpack. I love how every time hammers are brought up, my brother gets PTSD uh, flashbacks. But you assume has a lot of rope. Not this but time. By like, like, by hammers. What, what, what do you, what do you got? Just like random hammers. I mean, hammers. Yes, he likes his hammers. But we, are we talking like carpentry like, hammers? Are we talking like, like light war hammers? hammers? Yes. War hammers? Smithing hammers? Carpentry All hammers? All of the above. Ball beam? The answer is yes. Okay, I know this is a game. You can't Fucking have 30,000 hammers just strapped to your back with fingernails or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. Grim with, rope. Do. with rope. <laughs> with rope. With <laughs> rope. I mean, Daigrel, do remember Grimvac made like, like 100 hammers in one session. I'm gonna put my uh, my issue with that aside, and um... so kind of hammers of all kind. What kind of armor you got, Grimvac? Studded leather. Hmm. Fritz, stop, please. Uh, to be honest, I actually apparently my my bind for sundering didn't work, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that, and I'll get back to you. I uh I believe he is trying to talk to you. Fr what is your name, friend? Uh you know so much about rope. Ah uh, yes, my name is Grimvac. And who is talking to me? I didn't hear anybody say my name. That that was Fritz. Fritz, what do you want with this nice man? He's helping can I can I sunder with a twenty three on on the on his chest, his, his studded leather? I rolled max damage. Give me a second. I'm effectively I I, I suppose I would just grab it. It just <laughs> I don't know that a punch is gonna. I guess I could just punch it. L I mean, are you? 
If you are attacking me, Grimvac is responding. Uh, it's not you specifically. It, it's not I I'm mean, making attack. I, don't, I just make the check as as far as I understand. I've, I've looked. I've tried. If you are me. hitting Grimvac, I'm hitting your arm in right? any shape or form. Yeah. You are getting yeah. hit back. Okay. Stop. Says who? Uh, for, uh, the fucking e e Equianimus. Vern, I'm gonna kick your ass. Why? Mm hmm. Agro, hey what does Sunder do? I'm, I'm, I I'm break curious. Shit. Oh, you're breaking his armor. I'm attempting to punch a hole in this man's armor, yes. Yeah, no. I, I Equianimus has been t telling you to stop this whole time. I I still punched. I still threw it. But yeah, does a seventeen hit back? Seventeen hit back. Yes. What What does my sunder do first? Oh. Uh. I do uh, have the improved sunder feet. I do not get. Yeah. The attack of opportunity that comes with this. I just know that I need to meet the. I had objects. a chart. Yeah, I know. I sent you the chart. It just says that I can make the. So, yeah. You, you can attempt to sunder an item held or worn by your opponent as part of the attack action in place of a melee attack. Uh, I have the improved sunder feet, so I don't trigger the. Attack of opportunity. If my attack is successful, you deal damage to the item normally. Damage that exceeds the object's hardness is subtracted from its hit points. If you do not break it, it does look damaged. So now your 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 armor is a little sad now. And does a seventeen hit back? Oh, it does. Okay. Where the hell? What does? How do I roll things? Uh, nine damage to your face. Ow. What are you doing? Do I have to put you down? Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh, no. I suppose. Actually, wait a minute. Can I even do that? Right? That's a good question. I don't want this to happen. I mean, oh, this no. isn't you making it happen. Uh, I am throwing a little bit of the blame on him because he reminded me that it's normal to be racist towards uh, Drow, and that's kind of what started this. So I'm, I'm putting, yeah. I'm putting about forty percent blame on him. <laughs> uh, I, just... yeah. I blame society. We I blame this society. We live in a society. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, now I gotta double check things. It's gonna be real upsetting if I started this and now I'm not even gonna be able to really go through with this. Where is it? Uh. I swear, if this is how session zero goes, I don't even know if I want to start a real campaign with this. That is not going to help me. Uh, I don't know, I actually got much to... Uh... Well, okay. I suppose. Uh... You just got smacked upside the side of the head with it. Look, I know hammer. where this is going. I'm just trying to figure out what's what's best here. And then Grimvac asked, "What are you doing? Do he I knows, have to put you where down?" This is ending. He's just trying yeah. to pick. He's just trying to find a mode of transportation. Uh oh, why can't any of these be useful? 
I do awesome. believe. I suppose we're just gonna go. Power attack, smack your face. Uh oh, that's not very good. No. That will be a myth. I said, get out of my town. Oh dear. I do not appreciate this. Yeah, I'm. I'm guaranteed going down. What the fuck is with this nine twenty five bullshit? I don't know. I don't understand that. Give me a second. Why are you rolling 3d8? What the fuck? I think that's a crit. I think that's the crit damage. Looks like... The 9 like is the it. regular damage. Yeah, 25. no, that's for crit. You had 25 twice. That's weird. You also oh. rolled 9 twice. Yeah. Let me check. Uh, I mean, no matter what there, I'm at... Uh, fat negative 5. Yeah, my pound. No, no. no. Fritz is Fritz is down and bleeding out. Yep. Oh no, I dear, didn't no, make no. it lethal. I don't think I, weapons, I'm knocking him out. Ch I forget there are weird rules. You can do subdual damage, although the damage is halved. But no, regardless, that will down you anyway. I um, run over. No, uh, yeah, that, that downs me no matter what. Yeah. I scratch my head. Does anybody know why this guy just attacked me? Oh dear, no, 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 Lavender, no, no, no. Fritz, Fritz, talk to me, are you okay? Is this one of your friends? He yes, really I him. He did attack he, me. He, yes, why would Fritz do that? What if you, did you do anything to him earlier? I don't think so. You I came animal. into town, just... and I asked for some beer. I bought a bottle, and then I walked away, and then I found this nice man. Oh, crap. I need to do a... Is it like this? Heal check? Is that it? I don't know. No! Merciful! That one. That's not good. Or is that what do one? I do? Oh, is, that, is, that how I do a, is that how I do a heal check? Did she just kill it me? is. She made your uh... condition worse. She, you don't die to that, but you lose an extra point of HP. You're down. You are now down to negative six. Oh shit! I'm 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 really sorry. This is the first time I've uh, I've had a friend <clears throat> really hurt, and I'm like this, and I'm freaking what out. What is out. all of this commotion out here? What happened? I I went in to go shopping, and ah, it's that man from earlier. Oh yes, <sighs> this guy attacked me. I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, let, let me help. As he will walk Let's... over and cast Cure Light Wounds. Do I not get an actual point? I see uh, nine. Ah, I nine. Inside the description. Yes. Good news, Agril. <laughs> you are up. At three. Let's go! Nine. As you start to wake up, Equianimus does. The... <laughs> yeah, you are downed. Equianimus will uh, uh, sit on you. Get off of me. Not until you explain yourself and why it's you just drow. attacked this man. What drow? I am not a drow. The way I'm get off him, he's injured. He was with the drow. It's probably oh. that dwarf. <laughs> oh, oh drow, drow. you are that wannabe athlete-looking guy. We're both drow. I, I, don't, I don't see the drow. Just throw my head back on the ground. At least I'm not an asshole. I mean, you're the one who just attacked me out of nowhere, so... You agreed to be out of my town, and you didn't. I was invited back in by somebody else, and he was not an asshole, so I Can think I, I am a... the right one here. Can I make an attempt to push half the way off? You you could. There. There. Seven. Uh, that will be... Uh, so instead of strength, what you would do is do... Uh, uh, you would... Flex. Or whatever. We no. Uh... CMB. Be a combat maneuver? Yeah, it would be a combat maneuver to push or grapple. Well, it's a grapple. I guess oh. bull rush. 
Yeah, Paul Rush is. What, what do I what do I do for that again? Uh, combat maneuver bonus. This thing. Uh, it's beneath your will check. Yeah. Beneath my will checks. This is weird. Uh, combat maneuver. Oh no. CMB. Oh, is that it? CMB. Yes. Yeah. Eleven. And eleven does not beat uh, Equianimus is fifteen. Where did Equianimus get fifteen? Uh, uh, he, uh, it's combat maneuver defense. You don't roll for. Uh, it is just a straight AC kind of That's thing. Next to spell resistance. Yeah, it's oh. CMD. Oh. Combat maneuver defense. Well, I'm shit. Myrtle is putting all of her small body into trying to move, like. Get off of him! He's already injured! He's still bleeding! Murta, he will be fine. Our other dwarven friend just magically healed him. That angry footstool is with the other one! Get off before we all die! Not a dwarf. I am a, a, a dwarf. You're lying. He is obviously lying. Do you have the same voice? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't see what him being a dwarf has to do with why you He's just attacked me. He's not a dwarf. But why did you just attack me? Because you're the one who didn't listen. I mean, I'm pretty sure I listened. Did I not, my friend? Talking to Nate's character. You agreed to get out of town. End of Yes, story. and then this guy invited me back in. If I am to interrupt, Equianimus says... Uh, he did technically leave t uh, city limits. You let a dwarf and uh, a drow. You sorry, sorry. Let me. Get, you let, you let a drow, a lavender damn drow, back into our town. You, you're a madman. You it, are a madman. It was full research, and I got a strict vow of peace from him. Yeah, well, what's that been worth in the past, huh? Well, look at I all mean, the there peace. hasn't been any incidents in the past, has there? There's a lot of peace going on here. Uh, our friend Fritz is on the ground bleeding. He attacked first. I will hold to that. Yes, he did attack first. I would have been perfectly fine telling you about what you might need on your adventure if he did not just punch me in the chest. Get off of me, Equianimus. Are you going to punch me in the chest Get again? Get off of me, Equianimus. He's too heavy. I, I will I will say you could just do a combat maneuver. You would almost immediately beat him. But he will slide off of your chest. I, you I've done it. Oh, don't... Okay. Okay, I'm Everybody... just get up. No other words. Walk away. Everybody Everyone needs to has calm. some anger issues. Everyone needs <sighs> to calm down. And you, you have a lot of explaining to do. I don't even know who you are. And then you, are you, are you a drow or not? I, um, I, I am a dark skinned elf. <sighs> These are just so many trials. So many trials. I... Uh, my brain. We came here to help children and save a school. We did not come here to fight. You. We did not come here to experiment. You. And we... Who are you? And then you. How no, about. I did not come here to fight either. I came here for a drink, but your friends seem to want to fight. You want a drink? Is that really what you want right now? Yes. That is indeed want. what I want. I just wanted a, I just wanted here, a nice warm drink. Been... That is not quite what I meant, but I will take it. Thank you very much. This man. A gallon I... of water. Just I... add him. If I could interrupt the not dwarf says, I, I just, me and my friend were stuck as, well, underground in 
basically tunnels for the past few months and we finally found a way out and I just wanted a nice warm bed for the night. So I just asked a, this nice weird fox lady where the closest town was and it led here and I just I just wanted a, I just wanted to spend a bit of gold, get some supplies, get a good night's sleep, and find a way to go home. That's all I wanted. I didn't ask for all this screaming, all of this, oh my god, he's evil stuff. Well, then here. You want to prove that you're good? I will give you a chance. Take this guy and stop him from breaking things. I will take this guy and stop him from breaking things. Fair enough? You know, I did not break anything. I think your friend was the one who broke my armor. I mean, I think you broke him more than he broke you. Shut well, up. Well, yes, but he attacked me. What else am I supposed to do? Just let him hit me? I don't know if this will help, but I have mending. Thank you, random stranger. Thank you. Uh, I hope that helps. You, we have to go talk to Fritz. Madman. Follow me, madman. Madman Hathaway. Make laugh at your damn things harder. And I'm going to go, I'm assuming Hathaway's behind me as I go to make sure Fritz is okay and talk to him. Yeah. Well, Glim, back. I think we should leave. We got a full day's of rest, and Riley does hold up a bag of groceries. I, I think we have something to go off of, and we can get back to our hike. Okay, but is there ale in there? Oh, I already bought some. It's really cheap stuff, but I, I bought it. I bought I bought a good eight bottles just so that just to get you through. You know, that'll do fine. We didn't have much in that shit show ever underground. Anyway, uh, thank you for trying to fix my armor. I think it does look better. I regret adding Riley as your companion. I'm sorry, DJ. <laughs> Why did you pick something that was going to be hated he was the instantly? only one who survived. That and Thomas, but I wanted Thomas to have a happy ending and go back to his family. He deserved it. He should have picked Thomas. <laughs> Thomas deserved to go back to his wife and kid. The Dark Kings all rise again. Mm, you just, you probably are going to... This this poor this poor drow man is going to get murdered mercilessly in this world. Ah, but he'll just become the villain of the next session or the next um campaign. A small a small car a small cart hauling a bunch of goods that is before you two leave uh Myrtle and Equianimus, you do see the car's starting to come through with a bunch of goods on the back and a cover over it. Uh, I, I guess we should at least get the information we need before we go see Fritz. Might as well not make this a complete waste of a day. I don't know how many wares I have, but I'm here to sell. Uh. No more violence, hopefully. Hmm. That seems to be up to the rest of the town now, doesn't it? Uh, Lathander provides. It will be fine. Hmm. We shall see. Hello, my name's Myrtle Wayne. What's your name, miss? Trixie Volpine, at your service. That's, uh... 
your uh, parents were very creative with your name. <laughs> oh, they were. Yes, yeah, probably. No, I shouldn't think bad of people who aren't around. Definitely not here anymore. Oh, well, my condolences. Whatever for? They live yet, just not here. Oh, well, that wasn't what you earlier suggested, but okay. Um, well, you come to these... I haven't seen you at the marketplace before. Market, marketplace. All right, continuing, yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Full of shit. <laughs> Uh, there is a mustache, brown-haired, mustached human driving it. Bunch of shit in the back. Uh, pulls in next to the market and starts talking to the store owner. Anyone gonna talk to him? As Equianimus is still like, I think you two should probably leave now. Fritz is probably going to go to the temple or militia or something if not come back with something what is he going to tell them that he attacked somebody and that person hit them over the head real hard I'll tell them that they he saw a drow and a dwarf with the drow and it'll end very badly because people don't like drow or people that work with drow no offense I see, I see. You're telling me I Shut should have done this town a service and removed him permanently. But that is fine. I suppose I will go to the original town. That was, what, you said like 40 miles that way? Y yeah. They are I would suggest mother. going towards the town that is 100 miles that way instead. They're more tolerant. Ah, uh, yes, then you're right. The, the original area. town that I pointed to. As expected, I was correct. Maybe you are right in everything, Grimvac. I am. It is good that you're learning this. Well, sadly, some hill fairy is going to be so smart. Oh, no, fair I'm warning. pretty sure that whatever god you have isn't so much of a dick. Me? Mm -hmm. Are you talking to me, sir? Well, yes. My god is the most benevolent, loving, and tolerant god of them all. Yes, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's not a dick. Well. Agreed. Perhaps you're very, perhaps you're very smart. I am. Thank you for the compliment. Have a good day, Harry Halfling. And then you... You should definitely make sure you keep enough supplies for that. Gosh. Especially while traveling, you never know who will come across you. I will always remember when he bought me a rope. Thank you, thank you, both of you. Sorry about upsetting the town, I guess, Riley mutters. Don't worry, it's not your fault. It is that fault of that wannabe athlete-looking guy. Regardless, we should take our leave soon, before they start rioting like one of those play. Take one of these as, as well. As, as oh. Riley says that, with beautiful comedic timing, uh, from this direction... You start to see torches and pitchforks. What do you mean that direction? There's a river between that and the rest of the town. Yeah, and there's a bridge to the southish. A, a convenient bridge off screen. Yes. Oh shit! There's Why a would they right come here. from outside of the town though? Just, Just go with it. Pitchfork somewhere. Here, burn salve. You'll need it. 
I'm pretty sure that I do not need it, as you can see. I was I handing it to the anyway. to the disguised elf. He, on the other hand, will certainly need it. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Never show your true skin unless you trust those who are in your company. I just want to go back to the Feywild. You know, we can Pray probably your follow my original method of just walking around in circles around some mushrooms. I'm pretty sure I heard that work once. It's better than that thing that one dude said about putting a bunch of stones in a circle as Riley starts jogging. Because those torches and pitchforks are getting closer. I'm Sorry, going that to is not go very cool. I am not see, quite as fast do? as you. I'm gonna, sorry, DJ. I'm gonna pat I'm sorry. Riley on the shoulder as he goes by and give him guidance. Be swift. As he's walking by, I'm gonna say, "Wow!" As he's running, as he's running by, I'm gonna say, "Wow!" Moss lickers can run very fast, can't they? Remind me what your race is. I'm a human. Um, you're human. Ah. The artwork gives your skin a very green tinge. That is a trick of light. No, I'm saying that out of character. I thought you were either half orc or goblin. You'd be wrong. I'm a human. That's fine. <sighs> Give me a minute. Now then, we were discussing something before we were rudely interrupted by a cart. Well, we were. Well, we were just talking about names and families. Ah, yes. Yes. You said your parents don't live around here? Oh, no, no, no. So, with how this is going to turn out, I think I've made a few critical errors. Uh-huh. Do we want to <laughs> restart this next week without Riley? Session negative zero, baby. <laughs> we have to keep going. Oh, we got to keep going. It's too late. This is going to you leave me alone. You made your bed, no. now lie in it. Are you sure? Because either Iser Daigle's, char Daigle's character is dead, or Nate's character and DJ's character is dead. My character has mean... problems. It's, it's good RP. Oh, it's good RP. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> putting anybody if if the only other person, the, the only person who truly can be put at fault is uh, is the man who put the drow here and then reminded everybody to be racist towards them. Um. Yes. See, <laughs> it's another a non-humanoid race, technically, you know, fleshy color. Um, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna give this poor lad the benefit of the doubt since he's traveling with a very rude dwarf. And I yeah. try. I did give them a warning before they went to the town that the town was very racist, and you might need to disguise yourself. Someone forgot about the disguise. You didn't boost. say anything about the disguise when they first yes. walked. No, in. she I did. did. Uh, I yeah. did. Uh, I tried to give a subtle hint earlier on, like, "Hey, you, you, uh, but, but, no, poor Riley." Poor Riley. Oh, you get to explain this to Nate. <laughs> like I said, I'm giving it out. We can reset next week. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, I think Nate, Nate may have. Is it Nate going to potentially try to run next week or forget? Or the week after. Eyes are way. Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> we have to continue. Just off uh, Riley, dude. Just a random arrow from across well, the river. The problem the with them. that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like uh, Vern knows my characters at this point. 
Yeah, no. Because <laughs> here, here's the problem is that now somebody, the easy, okay, the easiest person to remove would be Fritz. Because if it's not Fritz, Fritz is going to come back and he's going to cause trouble with no matter what, Grimvac and Riley. And then now the fact that just the way that he's got played, which I'm not faulting him for how he played Equianimus. No. But now that Equianimus is like, oh, no, it's whatever. Whatever. Now, yeah, I doomed now Nate's my... character by accident. For, for, for like, my, his character. Character. For my these... character. he You've doomed him in my eyes. But that's the problem, is that th the easiest way to move on from this would for me to just not have Fritz. <laughs> And Dagle, I love Fritz. Characters. It's not like, fair. You just need to open another portal for yeah. Riley to run through. Honestly, I I think I'd be able to make something that's uh, that's able to fit in pretty well here. I gotta be honest. I don't know. I'll go. I have my. Uh, I still have to figure out how to dual wield great swords. This is why I decided I'm not sure to be way. my true self in the town. Must disguise. Ooh, Must you know disguise. Else? It'd give me a chance to roll something higher than a 15 for my stats. <laughs> um, I don't know. We, we can talk about this, but I think for, <laughs> for right now, I feel like Fritz is just kind of out at the moment. Just at least for this for this thing. I mean, I will so, say... is, so are Grimvac and Riley. They're, at the end of the day, going to be like... 40 miles that way. Yeah. And for, I, I, it may just be a three. <laughs> we may just have three people leave already. I mean, Riley again, wasn't going to be a part of the main party. I was going to have well, Riley. Yeah, but still. Because, yeah. no, again, no matter what, now there's this issue between Equianimus and Fritz. And that's not going to go away. I, I I'm feel fucking like, damn it. <laughs> I feel like this was also kind of like doomed from the start because. Vern hadn't seen how Nate would play this character, so no, I have. No, there's no, there's no. no way for him to stay in character and do there what the had character. There's been would minor do. discussion of That's not things that the character would do. Like the main thing was that his character was going to, ex as kind of been said before, experiment with the food that he fed the kids. Uh, nothing that would ever be dangerous. He, the last thing he wanted to do was to, to hurt the kids. Uh, or to put them in, like, a truly dangerous situation. But other than that, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot to go off of. Um, so, again, I, I'm not faulting anybody for their... for how they play yeah. characters. That's not the problem. I feel like this is a good, just, uh, trial, just to see how you guys like your characters, if you wanted to tweak their personalities, or... Yeah, like I said, we can mm -hmm. tweak shit. This is, we could just... Not this is just the what happen. if would happen if, you know, the Dark King was with you all. Yeah, perfect. This doesn't happen. We can, we, uh, nobody uh, has to die yet. Seems like everybody wants to just continue. <laughs> Please. Right, you know, well, Fritz, point... I, I have a very good business proposition for you with my character. In Pathfinder? <laughs> you forget that I made a villain for him. Oh. Uh... Wait, for also, Dakota, Fritz I hate your art. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> right, well, I, I feel like at this point, we, we've it seems we've reached the end of the uh, the part. Yeah, no, that's the play. end of the session. <laughs> that's the end of the session, right? There. <laughs> no. Well, I guess on that note, YouTube. Um, I guess just you get might, the fuck you out. You might see this on YouTube. I don't know. I mean, they're probably they think, will. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Through. This can still go on YouTube as the bloopers for session zero. <laughs> like yes. I said, negative zero, because it doesn't make sense. But it also couldn't <laughs> really be session zero. But there's not really a number before. it. You know session what? Session negative zero. Trial negative and errors. Zero. Trial and errors. <laughs> she was a good character. <laughs> All right. Well, again. YouTube, <laughs> fuck out of here. I get. Why? Oh,